The Toronto Transit Commission is spending up to $6 million to winterize the aging fleet of streetcars, some of which are 35 years old and tend not to run in the cold. We want to talk about the winterization program uh, that we've undertaken or are undertaking uh, on the articulated light rail, light rail vehicles, that is these ALRVs, because they're the ones that we see failing in the cold winter months, January, February, where we see minus 15, minus 20, minus 25, and primarily due to, to leaking airlines uh, and heating systems. The winterization program is, is one part of an overhaul program that we are doing on the ALRVs. That is the overhaul program is needed in part because Bombardier has failed to deliver all the new low floor streetcars that have been ordered, cars that work in the cold. So uh, this is really about preventative maintenance. Uh, rather than fixing on failure or sending cars out that, that would then fail in service or that we can't even meet service in the morning, um, this is about prevention and uh, making sure that when we, when we uh, put service out in the morning that we, we're putting up a service that we promise uh, that we're going to put out. 